It's part 45 of Final Fantasy 13, and we're still nowhere near the end. Uh, welcome back. Last time we left off with Fang, uh, Light, and Vanille here. This time we're going to go up another elevator. And of course we're going to go up another elevator with more enemies. I mean, okay. Do I cut this out because it's the start of a uh, of an episode? Like, do you just want to come in 30 seconds in, you automatically get a cutout for the battle? I mean, eh, eh, eh. It's a good thing I did cut that out because I died. I, I died. I died pretty handily. Uh, I will say it's probably one of the few battles um, where you if you die and you retry you have to go back to an area before you have to do like a little cutscene thing an interaction so to speak i mean i guess the other elevator battles that happens but uh seems kind of unique i'll say i died because the uh ah oh, screw it just screw it all right so i can totally see why people are fed up with this game uh i mean this section let's play purposes it's not a good section, right? I'm, uh, no, I don't think there's any items. That's good. Uh, not a good section. You know, you're just running through killing enemies, which, granted, you look at the Crystarium cost, you need to kill enemies. It's, it, it serves a purpose. Um, but I guarantee you, we have just gone through, like, three of these sections, and nothing has changed. Uh, again, makes perfect sense story-wise. Kind of stupid. Okay. Um, can we go? Okay, we can't jump up. Oh, this is good. This means they're... We're getting towards the end because it's just more battles. <laughs> oh my. Okay, can I get. Pa no, there's more battles. You know, I definitely just fought like three of the same battles in a row. And uh, more longer hallways, but I think there's an item here. I'm assuming this is the only reason why there's an offshoot. I swear, Final Fantasy VII Remake, the dungeon design. It's like, it's this, but it's just better. It's crazy. It's crazy how they managed to do this, but we're fine. It's so much like, what, 11 years after the fact. Oh God, cutscene. Or is this more battles? No, this is battles, but it's also a boring cutscene because we're almost at the end. We are almost at the end. Is it two? It's a twofer? It's a twofer. All right, I'll show this off. I mean, I'm just gonna do a comrade sentinel see what happens I wonder if you ever have to fight three of these I don't remember having to fight three of them um yeah we'll just do this oh wait no if it's a if it's a it's just one that's lame all right well whatever I'll show you how I had been taking this out um start off here with assassination rather get this full stagger bar up and then use aggression to kill or get his get the debuff on and then use aggression to kill um the blade uh let's do one more can you guys did you guys switch all right cool you switch all right and now yeah we're gonna live through his attacks and switch but yeah it's, it's kind of interesting i've been playing obviously Final Fantasy 7 and masashi hamaus and his fingers are all over that soundtrack you can hear it um the train graveyard in particular that battle music that battle music sounds ripped straight out of uh lightning returns final fantasy 13 like it sounds so much like i don't know which track but uh it sounds like one of the battle ones for sure all right let's uh let's get a few more debuffs on the guy just because There we go, and we should be able to get him in a couple rounds. Maybe not, maybe I have to restagger. Do I have to restagger this guy? Come on now. Oh, we might get Shaw Smite though. That's kind of cool. Um, maybe. Nope. Alright. Yeah, those guys are kind of fun to take out. I don't know why. It's just, uh, it's neat taking out big, giant enemies. Uh, well, same thing, I guess. All right, and finally, we are through the fifth arc. Um, can you see the entire... No, you can't see the entire map. I was going to say, I wonder how long that was, because that, that was like three episodes. Uh, don't have to save, so let's, uh... Yeah, let's just keep going with what we're doing and, uh, head on out the door. I love how we get to this point. Oh, how about you open the door? 
Like I love that it just reads our bio signatures and knows that we can open. Oh, it's a little door behind the big door. That's so funny. That's so stupid. This reminds me of a. Uh, the portion in Final Fantasy, or in uh, Spider-Man, for PS4, like when Vulture end. takes over the city, and uh, kind of drowns the city in his poison water goop. If the stories are right, it's a maze. This place is a boot camp for the sea. That would be incredible if they managed to put a maze in this game. A game this linear, and then put like a maze in the middle of it. all ready to go wipe out Cocoon? We can wait here if turning seats sounds better. I have had enough of this! Where's the way out? Way out? Who said there was one? Bring it on. My mind is made up. Maybe I will... That's a really weird cutscene, I'm sorry. Like, Until that happens, he... They, they had the atmospheric out. noise behind it, and then they just got rid of it, just because... I couldn't bring emotion. myself to admit that this tear meant goodbye. That's why I kept searching for her. But I didn't need to. Sarah was here the whole time. Right here, watching over me. Now I get it. What this tear's been telling me is to not let our focus win. It's not the fallacy we should listen to. It's Sarah and Reigns. Do you know why? Because our focus doesn't matter. What matters to me is that we protect Cocoon. Whatever it takes. Same here. I'll help you do it. <laughs> Remind me to tell you what I learned about Snow after this cutscene. Chocobo agrees. You know you're on the right path. There you go. <laughs> well, That's right. Count me out. What? Mm -hmm. If you all want to go it on your own, then so will I. Oh, hey, hey. Like this is so forced. What's the point? Get what's coming. Why are they we doing this? What's it to me if they die? Better that than watch a friend go see. If you don't have the nerve for it. I'll do it myself. Go on alone. Get stronger. And smash Cocoon Like, it makes sense, side. but at the same time, her brand is frozen. So why does she want to do this? You like, I get why see, she doesn't want no them to turn C. I'm not but her brand was frozen. Like, she wasn't going to turn C anyway. That way. But we need another boss fight and another Eidolon, so here we go. familiar with Shiva, I'm familiar with uh, Odin in Final Fantasy games. I don't remember Brynhildr, but here we have one of the most famous Final Fantasy summons, Bahamut. Kind of interesting. You would think this would be like the last one you get, but... That thing's here to help us? Yeah, help. That's what Eidolons do. They help us. Eidolons are our salvation. If we can't decide what to do next, they come put us out of our misery! I love that they had to remind us this like we hadn't seen <laughs> that was hilarious. Like we haven't seen this three times already. But I guess she never saw one of the other ones, so. Protecting one of our own. We can do without their brand of mercy. Does she even know that we have idols? She knows Snow has one. She knows Snow because she showed up at the end of that, but she probably doesn't even think Lightning has one. Fight with us. Or, uh, nobody knows Saz has one except for Vanille. Oh my god, they changed. It's the same team, but I guarantee you they changed the paradigms. I guarantee it. Let's see. So pointless. So pointless. Um. Uh. 
Oh no, it's the same ones. Alright, cool. Let's just close down to attack now. This is so lame because I have to just wait for uh, what's his name to. Or I have to just kind of sit here and watch this bang the sentinel the whole time. I should probably restart this, but we'll see what happens. I might go. Yeah. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. Alright, we're restarting this. That's so stupid. Like, you. You kept my paradise, but then you change the default one? That's seems kinda stupid. Uh what I was gonna say was what I was gonna say was snow actually is six seven. I found that out. I was looking at the wiki the other day and Oh, you know what? I just have to skip through. Dang, this this is stupid. But he's six seven, that's why he's so tall, but at the same time, Lightning's five seven, so he's a foot taller than her. Like a clear foot. And even taller than the kids, but, uh... Alright, can we get up? Thank you, thank you. Okay, why would they even rearrange? Oh, no, they just changed them all together. That's wild, that's crazy. Alright, so let's go here, here, here. And then... Let's do... Uh, 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 let's try this. Actually, let's do like this, right? Yeah, so we'll start out here, move to the appropriate paradigms when necessary. And why would they change... Oh, they got rid of, um... That should be fine. Alright, let's, let's see what happens. Alright, so now I should be able to provoke the fool. And then I'm going to do Meta Guard. I'm going to input this manually. Uh, because she will... Yeah, alright. I don't know why... She, I provoked him, but... He doesn't seem to care. Does not seem to care. I should probably leave her this guy. That's that's probably what I want to do. I tell you, I'm all out of source when I don't have lightning as well, my main character. Combat clinic? Alright, go, 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 go. And Libra. And we will see this guy is pretty much the same as everybody else. Um we will heal and he will get buffed and we will assault him and he will get buffed and we'll do all the things that we usually do and he will get buffed. Alright, if we can go... Get, no, not diversity, not diversity there, that's the last thing. I want a delta attack, I want a delta attack. I tell you, I'm all, out of, I'm all out of whack now. I was going to do this and then hit you with uh, some debuffs. I don't know if you can debuff him. Can you debuff him? Uh, yeah, you can debuff him just on this thing. Yeah, I'm, I screwed it. I screwed it. I screwed it. I screwed it. This is so stupid. I guess the reason why, though, they don't want you summoning. But they can totally just gray that out. Like, they don't... You don't have to summon in, in, in like, a, in a summon battle. Uh, but there's Renew for you, so that's kind of nice. The Master Chain bonus, the Master Chain bonus, the Master Chain bonus. I just don't know why she's getting hit with everything. Vanille's getting destroyed. Uh, Alright. Heal her, heal her, heal her, heal her. Oh, thank god that works. Yeah, you'll see that the, uh... Oh, it's Ignis from Final Fantasy XV. You will see that assassination does so much to the, uh, chain gauge. Like, look at this round. Look at that. Look how fast it goes. Look how fast it goes. Got him. Yeah, that was trash. Um, but, but we'll take it because I definitely five star it. So, so look, all these guys are vehicles. I mean, I guess he's kind of a car, but he's definitely just like a a dragon. Like he he's not a vehicle. <laughs> he looks like he has wheels under his chin though. Yeah, you can probably do it better. Um, but I don't really care. And her brand is still frozen, so I don't know what her uh, Look, her problem was, but I do appreciate this that it's like a crystal path. Yeah, it's not like the debris just conveniently fell to make a path. Okay, listen, keep our eyes on the goal, and we'll figure something out. All right. Hey, Sarah. So I guess being a lassie doesn't have to mean you can't do what's right. 
present. Okay, and we are back to our original battle team. Um, did they fix our paradigms? Uh, they're the same as before. Well, that's fine. There's no battles here. But it is the ultimate long, narrow hallway of the game because it's a long, narrow, floating hallway. You really can't go anywhere. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to say, I haven't really watched it this week, but World... Oh, really? I guess I'm... Apple had their WWDC, and it uh, looks like Apple apps are coming to... Or iPhone apps are coming to, to Macs, and I'm like... I don't know if that's a selling point for me. Maybe if you're a heavy Mac user. Me? Eh, not really. I guess it was one of this arc's weapons or something. That's a gate to Grand Pulse. Right. I love how they just introduce like space travel. So, that's our exit? Pulse? Or bust? Could be one of Dysley's traps. Well, that's not good. Do you think it might take us to Eden? Mm-mm. I'm doing the flying. No more of these ships. So I can see. Hold up. Travel plan stuff. Oh, wait, why does he know how to fly this? Taking us is where these boys tell it to. Huh, really? That is a Grand Pulse ship. Really? <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> he definitely studied up, though. He definitely like read some textbooks. Either way, we're on borrowed time. So we might as well go. We get lucky. <laughs> Maybe we'll even turn up some way to get rid of these goofy tattoos. Yeah. But there's no way to do that. You never know. Maybe we just didn't think to look for one. If nothing else, we know Cocoon's safe for the time being. I'd say it's worth going to take a look. Maybe. But what about your dad? Like, why bring him up now? What is he gonna do? I made him a promise. I promised him to keep going and do what I had to. Was well, he gonna turn around and go he said home? Only I would know what that was. The world's full of lies. There's no way of knowing what's right. All we can do is believe in ourselves. Trust your instincts. It's insight. easy to sit back and let people trick you, like how the Sanctum had us all thinking that Elise was some sort of monster. I'm done with their lies. Falci, this whole focus thing. From here on out, I use my eyes, think, and act. I might not make all the right choices, but as long as I'm the one who decided what to do, there's nothing to regret. <laughs> Something I'm realizing about this game, as much as I enjoy it, as I'm playing Final Fantasy VII, Bad choices and they are all. so transparent with like character development here. Course, I'm not sure how it's the whole out. time it's like, let What's me explain now? myself. Oh, let me talk now? through my emotions. How many times have you been there? <laughs> None. But I want to go and see what it's like for myself. Okay, people. <laughs> so, everybody in? Right, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Off to hell we go. This is, uh... <laughs> um, I think if I had not gotten Final Fantasy VII, no I would seen. not be talking so much trash about this game. But this game, is, oh my god. I thought it was my favorite. I thought it was my favorite. Final Fantasy VII might be my favorite. Who knows? If they remake 9, though, that's it. We're done. saw the glimmer of a dream somewhere in the sky that night. The tiniest spark of hope that we could change our fate. Like, who's paying for a drink that small? I'm sorry. That's just trash. Like, you pay $12 for a swig? Who could say? Throwing up gang signs. And more glorious CGI. 
I love how they definitely gave that thing a paint job. Like, it's so shiny now. I always feel like these CGI scenes have way less dialogue compared to the in-engine cutscenes. Uh, it just seems like they don't have time for to animate all that. There's like, oh, let's give them a few lines, but not too many. He thinks we lunch. Yeah, like a seafood buffet. Seafood, cute. Guys, here it comes! I love how they just like Fang and Vanilla were perfectly okay with this thing, like that's that's normal on Pulse, so it's fine. Like so you can summon other people's idols? Like, that's crazy! That's wild. If you're wondering where the art from the back of the box comes from, it's this scene. Hey, over here. Kind of cool how the foreshadowing we fight that uh, the dude in Chapter Nine, right before you save Vanille and Saz, they have they kind of allude to this scene. It's it's kind of neat. Now that's what's crazy about Final Fantasy VII. It's like. Okay, yeah, you can tell when it's Are like a, a CGI cutscene versus in-game, but I mean, they're getting closer. Alright, they're getting closer. A world wild and fragile. Vibrant and untamed. Grand Pulse. It's a place where lives are ruled by the brutal struggle for survival and the callous and uncaring whim of the fast saver. There is no such thing as mercy. Only a never-ending string of trials that weed out the weak and leave only the strong. Reigns knew the truth. The purpose lying at the heart of all the Falsies' actions. Recalling their lost deity and returning the world to its former glory. People were never anything more than sacrifices. And Cocoon's destruction? It's just a way to wake a sleeping god. But would bringing the Maker back into this world really lead to our salvation? Alright, you see those dudes? How do they have the shields and the chains on them? Like, did somebody... Is that from, like, failed attempts to capture them? I don't know. It's kind of weird. I mean, no one ever questions them, but, uh... I love that they show this dude too, that's Titan. They show him, but you won't see him till the end of the game. Like, what's the point of that? The Maker created Falsi, and they, in their desperation to be reunited with the Maker... Why does she have a little jump to her step? She had a little pep in her step. And Lassie? I wonder what we'll end up creating. I don't think you actually see palm trees in this area. 
Or uh, coconuts, for that matter. I'll have to keep an eye out, because I really don't think there are problems. That was, like, specific, because there's no beach area. And I really don't think there are that many palm trees, if any. Our future looked bleak. But as long as we could keep our spirits up, we'd find a way to change our fate. Somehow. You were having a dream. Strange dream. Oh. Uh, hey. Hey. hey, guys. Have any luck? No sign of anyone else. But we did find plenty of bloodthirsty wildlife and crumbling ruins. Long day? Well, guys, we've run out of places to search around here. Huh. Where's Hope? He's off with the chocobo, getting supplies. Hello. <laughs> you all by yourself? It's <laughs> Brand. What? Alright, so she can talk to animals, which means she's basically a low-budget version of, uh, Aerith. <laughs> like, oh, uh, my team changed? Alright, yeah, my team changed, but we have, do we have a save point here? I'll put the map back on. Yeah, we have a save point here. I hope we'll have to wait till next episode. Next episode, I'm gonna change up the party. Uh, maybe use Snow as leader for a little while. And, uh, see what lies in store for our friends in the, what is this area? The Valis Medea. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Thank mm -hmm. you.